Are you playing that just for us? I have so many good memories of grandpa. One I had in mind was they lived nearby in Folsom when I went to Davis and they were so excited that me and, and Kelly too went there. I lived in a house with I think six other girls. Obviously grandpa liked visiting <laughs> all of us. There was one time where Nani and grandpa, they both brought like this, this big tub of ice cream and brought it over to all of us and it was a huge hit. And obviously that's something grandpa loves so. That was really fun and they got to meet all of my friends and be a part of my college experience, which was special. And there was one girl that I was friends with and she was really tall. Um, Grandpa, he loves like to guess like distances and, and height and stuff. And he's like, wow, kind of pauses, you know, like, you're really tall to my friend Brielle. She's like, yeah, are you like, like five, five eight? And you just like to guess. And then every time, you know, I talk about college or real, he's like, huh, how do you think, how tall do you think she is? Because <laughs> he just loved doing those distance guessing things and ice cream. And so I really valued that I was so close to him during that time. I was happy to have him as a part of my life and as a part of my college experience and throughout all of growing up. But I'm going to love and miss him a lot. Almost. Did we get a normal picture of all of us shopping? Uh, no. It's really doing the job. <laughs> What's your walking stick called? It's an emergency. <laughs> Are you going to play some raunchy music, Terry? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Grandpa, I miss you. I love you. I'm sorry I didn't get to say goodbye, but I hope you know how much you'll be missed.
how thankful we are that you have been in our lives for the memories you have created and the lasting memories that we'll have. We love you, Grandpa. We miss your spirit. We miss your presence. Love you. Thinking back about my life with Grandpa, um, I always cherish the memories of wakeboarding and boating, which always seemed to be his passion, as well as the time spent uh, biking around Lake Natoma with him, uh, which is always his preferred activity for physical exercise. Um, more importantly, uh, how much he cared for others always showed through whenever he was giving a blessing or speaking or telling a story. Um, he truly cared deeply for everyone. And on an even more positive note, um, his love of ice cream. I will never forget that. So here's to you, Grandpa. favorite thing about you grandpa was your love for sweets and ice cream something we have in common um, I think every family gathering we had to at least have a tub of ice cream if not more grandpa was having two servings if not more licking his plate clean but I love you miss you thinking of you always Hey dad, I just want to tell you how much you're loved and missed. It's hard to know what to say. It's left a hole in my heart, but I feel reassured knowing that you're not sick anymore and you don't have to go through the pain that you were experiencing. I'm so grateful that I got to spend so much time with you in these past few years, you know, watching out for you and loving you and making sure you got to your doctor's appointments and all of that. I wouldn't have traded that for anything. I will always love you, Dad, and we'll see you soon.
cars are coming at you. Very it's real great. nice to have these glasses. Middle of the road, straight laced. <laughs> you were me dreams you would like to sell Dreams of loneliness like a heartbeat drives you mad The stillness of a memory What you had And what you love And what you had treasured moment with grandpa was probably when Christina and I went up to their home about two years ago and essentially interviewed grandpa and um, we just asked him about his life and goals and fears and um, I can say he never feared death. I love you grandpa. Sure. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, dear baby. Happy birthday to you. Hey. riding in the truck in the van and um he asked me if i wanted to go to mcdonald's i was i was iffy i could go either way and he said i'll take you to mcdonald's so we went and he pulled in and asked me if i wanted an ice cream i wasn't really hungry so i said no he's like i'll get you an ice cream so he got two ice creams one for me and him he swallowed his gone instantly um, and then he asked me if I, if he could get a bite of mine and I like hesitated at first and he cut in and said, uh, you know, I bought it and I was like, all right, okay, I'm here. And I passed it to him and he got this huge tulip bite and ate like half of the ice cream and I just, okay. <laughs> or is it missing? Is that you, Jerry, over yeah. there? <laughs> she made me do it. Yeah. That is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, you little brats. You were known by many as Terry or Terrell, but we knew you as Grandpa and maybe Cowface. You taught us to water ski, took us boating, on trips to Disneyland and to the zoo. You showed up for our track meets graduations, rowing regattas, and dance recitals. You did amazing things like the Century Bike Ride, the Pioneer Trek, more than once, overnight hikes through the Sierras, climbed mountains. You traveled the world wallpapering to places like Ukraine, Russia, South and Central America, 
You kiteboarded, bombed hills on skis, and took a ton of naps. You absolutely loved ice cream, possibly more than anything in the world. You could always go for a pie and whipped cream. You loved being a troublemaker. You will be missed. May you rest in peace. Love you more than all the Ben and Jerry's in the entire world. We love you, Grandpa. Thank you, okay? It's the most excited I've been.